iGlaucoma presents a video series with editorially independent content supported with advertising. What is Zelpros? Where and how does it work in the eye? Why would I choose Zelpros to treat my open angle glaucoma or ocular hypertensive patients? What are the potential risks involved with using it? If someone told me a year ago what I'm about to share with you now, I certainly would have been using Zelpros more often in my practice. Hello, and welcome to the Eye Glaucoma YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Constance Okeke, creator of Migs and Meds University, where we talk about the new, the old, the current, and pipeline medications that are used for treating glaucoma patients, as well as different medical management strategies for active implementation. A free glaucoma medication guide with all the most commonly used glaucoma drops right at your fingertips. Download it now in the description box below. So first up, what is Zelpros? Zelpros, or Lantanoprost Ophthalmic Emulsion 0.005%, was launched by Sun Ophthalmics in 2019. It is the first and only BAK-free Lantanoprost formulated with Lipexel technology a technology that helps the molecule to enter the eye. Zelpros is a prostaglandin analog, and it has a mechanism of action of enhancing aqueous humor outflow through the uveoscleral pathway. And in generic lantanoprost, the BAK preservative within it helps to break down the tear film and corneal surface so that the lantanoprost molecule can penetrate into the eye. Although BAK is the most commonly used ophthalmic preservative of topical drops with its low allergenic properties and its abilities to be a great antimicrobial, when used chronically, which is typical for glaucoma, it can create or exacerbate dry eye disease. Dry eye disease is associated with patients complaining of burning, stinging, foreign body sensation or dry eye symptoms as well as signs like corneal staining or shorter tear breakup time. In fact, a survey of almost 10,000 glaucoma patients, the top risk factors for the development of dry eye disease in those patients included duration of treatment, use of multiple treatments, high IOP, the severity of glaucoma, and the use of eye drops containing BAK. So why would one consider using Zelpros over generic lantanoprost or another glaucoma drop with BAK? Well, it's because there is a reduced risk of ocular surface damage due to Zelpros having BAK-free delivery. The Lipexel technology encapsulates lantanoprost within a polymer castor oil micelle and allows for improved solubility of the lantanoprost without BAK. Not only does it allow for a less toxic effect on the ocular surface, it also works really well in lowering the eye pressure. In clinical trials, Zelpros demonstrated significant reductions in IOP in patients with open angle glaucoma or ocular hypertension. The mean IOP lowering effect was up to six to eight millimeters of mercury in patients with a mean baseline IOP of 23 to 26 millimeters of mercury. Zelpros demonstrated IOP lowering power throughout the day. So what are the potential risks involved with using it? One needs to think of Zelpros like any prostaglandin analog. The most common ocular adverse reactions in clinical trials where incidence is greater or equal to 5%. For Zelpros, it was eye pain or stinging, ocular hyperemia, conjunctival hyperemia, eye discharge, growth of eyelashes, eyelash thickening, and ocular itching. Although less than 1% of patients discontinued therapy due to eye pain or stinging or ocular hyperemia, I make sure to counsel my patients about this and also about other potential side effects. So Zelpros is a great first-line drug that's efficacious, well-tolerated, simple to use with once daily dosing, and unique with its BAK-free formula and Lipexel technology. When thinking about the incidence of dry eye disease in glaucoma patients and the symptomatic problems that result, which include fluctuation of vision and they can be reasons for poor adherence, 
it's really important to proactively address dry eye disease in our patients. Now, I want to know about you. What's your favorite PGA to use? Let me know in the comments below. If you've not ever used Zelpros, I challenge you to take action. Look out this week for patients who you prescribe your favorite PGA to and ask yourself, are they showing any signs or symptoms already of dry eye disease? If they are, maybe they could be a good candidate for Zelpros. That's all for now. If you liked what you watched, give me a thumbs up and share this MIGS and Meds University video. Thanks for watching the iGlaucoma YouTube channel, a place where glaucoma innovation is made easy for eye care professionals. And speaking of active implementation,